Hello and welcome back to the Scottish Man to Man channel. In this two part episode, you join me and my buddy Reese as we travel across the Scottish Highlands to the West Coast for a two day camping and fishing adventure. Reese and I had set aside a weekend of the calendar for a fishing trip and we were fortunate enough to have great weather conditions for our adventure. It was due to be warm and dry all weekend with just enough of a breeze to keep the notorious midges at bay. As we travelled through some of Scotland's best scenery, I filled Rhys in on all the details of where we would be fishing. I was taking Rhys to a mark I'd had great success with spinning and jigging in the past. Having visited this mark many times, I've always wanted to see if it had good potential as a bait fishing mark too and this would require a solid overnight fishing session. We had arrived at the location in the evening with the intentions of fishing right through the night. I gave Reese a quick tour of the mark and it was time to set up camp. We loaded on the midget repellent and got to work. We would aim to have several baits of different sizes in the water at all times between us, hoping this would give us the best chance of understanding this mark's potential. Our baits were set, and as darkness fell, we had our first bite. Don't know. Dropping stuff. Right, well, we'll find out. I'll grab the net and bring it. Let's find out what's going on. Hook was in weed, or my weight. Oh, look at the state of that. Well, good to see there's plenty of vegetation here, but also good to see that someone has definitely taken a big chunk out of your bait. Oh no, mate, that, that's probably what happened was, as it, I should have probably hit it earlier. Yeah, possibly. It was probably just pulled it into weed and lost it. And yeah. It, Lost interest. Well, we'll know. We'll know now. Yeah, let's have a look at your bait. Let's have an examine. Yeah, it's been ripped up. Yeah, mate, I mean, was... squid's a tough bait. That but... was a whole squid. Yeah, there you go. So, looks like it definitely had a hook in its mouth. <laughs> look at the teeth mark. Yeah. I think I was right. Look at the shape of that teeth yeah. mark. Little... Little triangles. I think that was a dogfish. Yeah, you're right. I would say you're right. Well, we know next time, just hit it. The first bite was missed, but had given us a clue as to what to expect. Just 20 minutes later, things got exciting. Right, both rods have just bounced. Are you in? Yeah, I think so. Good. I don't know if I'm on, I think I've hit it. Oh, no. Clean lost mine. No, I've got a fish on it. I was betting off. Shark. You think? Yeah, man, I can feel it. Afraid. Betting off by a goddamn dogfish. Is that a dogfish? Yeah. Pack attack. Come in. Oh, a fair bit of adrenaline. That wakes you up. You see it? Nice, that's a tiddler, but it's a fish, fish uno, and it is a dogfish. Don't want them to get me. Ah, oh, they're, they're fine, they just wrap around you. That's how we look. Cool little guy. Right, send him home. From the start of the night session, we had had a run of bites that provided nothing but snags and lost bait, so it was nice to finally land a fish. The fishing slowed down a little over the next hour as we sat and watched the rods in the dark. Then, eventually, Reese had a bite that almost pulled his rod off the stand. I love the way they swim. Congrats, man. First fish of the session. Good effort. You got a fish? Yeah. Nice. That's unexpected. Right, I'll make my way down. I don't know if I'll be able to hoist it up. 
Right. Well, hold on. I'm coming. Ow. All right. That's it. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Good one. Right. Where do we put the pliers? There. Don't forget that. Wait, it's in your line. Well, if you get a hold of the leader, the leader is like 60 pounds. Right. Okay. Right. See the red? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I need is you to keep your light down there. Just down here. Right. Now, can you bring your rod into the side to me? Oh, yeah, got it. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Here it goes. Reel up. Reel up, reel up, reel up. A nice one. That was a good fish, man. Really good fish. Well done. Need your pliers. Yeah, for sure. They're right behind you. Nice one, dude. With a couple of fish landed now, we fished on through the night. We established that the ground we were fishing in front of us was very rough, with lots of structure and vegetation. This makes for good fishing, but it can be very hard on your tackle. We dealt with plenty snags through the night, and as the first glimpse of daylight appears on the faraway skyline, I had a promising bite that would surely lead to my first fish of the session. Oh. Come on. Yes. Come on. Right, there's a fish on. Can I please catch one now? Still on? Yeah, still on. Right, come on. Reese, I need your light here. I didn't feel anything for f sake. Come on. <laughs> what on earth? I cannot catch a break. It was around 4 a.m. at this point in the session, and we were still working hard, replacing baits and recasting to cover the ground as best we could. I had just dressed the hooks on my pulley panel rig with some fresh mackerel and squid. We had hoped that we would catch something other than a dogfish. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of depth there. Oh, a bit of depth, yeah, so I'll take that. As the sun began to rise, the current around the point we were fishing on started to pick up as the tides began to shift. This is often when larger predators will come in to feed and hunt for disorientated bait fish. So we set up the spinning tackle and on his first cast, Reese had a fish. Spinning session has begun. Oh, that's quite a drop. Five. Is it five, is it? It's that little coley. Oh, a little pollock. A little pollock. Mr. Seal right there. Lovely. Oh, I the seals are in. Steal the catch. Well, we're fished right through to sunrise. <clears throat> Reese. 
Reese has had a fair bit of success. Have a bugger off. The session so far hadn't proved very successful for me, but as the sun crept over the horizon, Reese and I took a break from the spinning, and then my bait rod began to bounce. Sorry, bud. If it goes once more, I'm gonna take it. There was a seal here a second ago, but. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's, a... that's a real fish, yes. <laughs> oh, I think I just felt it come off. I'm not sure. No. Come on. Yes, we got a fish. It's a pollock. That's a real pollock, man. Woo! Right. Nice yeah. one. You're not gonna lift that up. No, we'll have to. Can you get the net? It's down there. I'm gonna slowly make way down and keep it there. Keep out the weeds. That woke me up. That was a hell of a take. You know, that fish is digging down. Yes. It's nicely hooked as well. Now, if you extend the net out, you might be able to reach it. Yeah, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, it could be breakfast, mate. <sighs> Finally. Six time lucky, eh? Right. right, if you can just get the fish but not the weight, and then I'll lift at the same time. Yes. I hold it there. Let's see if we can just whip them hooks out. Use that bait again. See, this is what we needed a proper fish so it could hook it properly. Look how beautiful, perfectly hooked that is. You just rebaited, didn't you? Yeah. Big fresh slab of mackerel. Woo! There we go. It's like a three pound pollock there. Is he getting the works or is he going back? I don't know. Kind of want to release the first one. It feels like good luck. A good omen. Go on then. He was well hooked too. Yeah, and it was, you know, yeah, exactly. He's healthy. Yeah, healthy. Away he goes. Finally. At last. Mm -hmm. Six f On a proper fish. Six lost fish. And then, yeah, exactly. Not a dog fish. Woo! Oh, and here's the seal to oh, mop it up. Sorry, mate. Signed your fate. The night session had ended on a high for me, landing and releasing a decent pollock. We had a long day of fishing ahead of us, and we thought it was best to try and get some sleep before fishing conditions were due to be at their best. So, that's all for part one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell to catch what's coming in part two. Coming up in part two, I put on one hell of a catch and cook for Reese. We catch some big fish. And I land a species of fish I've been after for a very long time. Yes! Yes! Absolute yes, man! <laughs>